What is up ladies and gentlemen, today we will be attempting to breed our Parabutus transvelicus specimens. So we have a bunch of females as well as a bunch of males. So yeah, without further ado, let's start off with the breeding, shall we? Alright, to start things off, we are going to be putting the male in first so that he can be a little bit more comfortable in the environment. And then right after the male is done, we will be planning to put the female in. It's going to take a while for her to pop out. But, you know, there she is. So we'll be putting her in there as well. And let's see how it goes from here. As you can see, the female is just crawling around, wondering what's happening, what has happened. The moment she makes contact with the male, the male turns around and is showing plenty of interest to undergo the ooh la la time let's go although this pairing took a significantly longer than was intended or expected most scorpion pairings depending on which genus or species as well will tend to take about 15 30 minutes all the way up to about an hour or two because this particular pairing i had was about an hour and a half to fully undergo so yeah time So you'll notice further down this video, the scorpion male and female will undergo a dance-like motion which is called the pomenade adieu. It is basically when the male grabs hold of the female's pedipalps and undergo a waltz or dance-like maneuver with the female to undergo this process of mating. Which is basically, it's an effort in finding a smooth surface for the male to deposit his the spermatophore, which is basically how the male transfers his sperm into the female. So from here onwards, I'll be fast forwarding the process a little bit because, as I said, I I literally said. Uh, watching this entire pairing process for about an hour plus just to see what happens and uh, I was not disappointed in the end but yet again this is a very interesting and time-consuming process because you never know what would happen because as you can see right now I'm with my brush just you know keeping an eye out on the female's reaction she's uh, she tends to be swinging it out towards the male trying to get him off her but in the end that's a way of uh, communication between scorpions apparently so after a while I stopped interfering and things went smoothly after that It's kind of fun to see that this male is like running around with the female holding uh, holding her with one claw directing her all over the place it, it kind of reminds me of that of uh, what is this any anime series that you see that involves the boy or girl holding hands and just like running and dragging the other person so it, it was kind of funny halfway through but yep this is how the process of courtship is for scorpions so without any more interruptions from me i shall let the video run until any interesting anything interesting happens so yeah So at this point, uh, the male is already starting to caress the female, getting her ready, getting her into the mood for the ooh la time. But this is just the halfway point because he's still 
dragging her around, undergoing that scorpion dance that is always, you know, that takes a lot of time. So this is just part of the process, part and parcel. If especially if you keep scorpions, you'll just have to undergo the waiting process. Takes a while, but patience is a virtue, and patience is a very, very good, important thing. So especially when it comes to breeding the scorpions. Even tarantulas, you can never rush a pairing. Most important thing is to never rush a pairing. So here is some tips and advice that I can provide as a scorpion keeper on how to breed or bas the basic technicalities of breeding your scorpions. So first and foremost, understand the environment that the scorpions live in whether they live in tropical environments whether they live in desert environments try to replicate the environments to their needs so that basically pairing will go much smoother and less problematic for you if it was in the opposite perspective which is for example tropical you end up doing it in a desert land, uh, desert setup that that's a horrible idea do not do that and then secondly this is a little bit on a skeptical side, but it's not exactly skeptical because it is possible to pair a 6 insta female uh, scorpion with a 7 insta fully matured male scorpion. It is possible, although the drawbacks is it's a bit more stress for the female, as well as your brood of scorplings will be smaller than expected. And sometimes it really depends if the female is actually not ready to raise the brood, uh, the particular female specimen will end up eating the babies. Next step is probably the most important because you gotta be you gotta keep in mind on the feeding patterns of your scorpions. Female, some genus of scorpions, the females are very aggressive to the males, especially androctonous. They will end up eating the male before the pairing even like before the pairing even occurs so do keep in mind in terms of feeding for the female as well as her reaction to the presence of a male and uh, the next adv advice is more for when you already have both the male and female specimen inside uh, the same enclosure and they already started on their dance ritual so on this part, you should have two tweezers on standby. This is to hold back both the male and female stingers from attacking each other because there are cases where the female will attack or the male will actually attack. So you will have to subdue the tails to prevent any damage and slowly try to separate their pincers from, you know, from each other's grasp. So that's about it for scorpion breeding. It's pretty straightforward. But I think the last and the most important thing to keep in mind is that you need to ensure that you have the time to spare when you want to breed them. You cannot rush the scorpion breeding because it takes a long, long time for them to finish up the ritual, the dancing ritual, and then boom, you get the spermatophore deposit from the male. So with that, that's all the advice I can provide for breeding scorpions. So after two and a half hours of dancing around with the female, the male has finally found a smooth surface in where he can extrude a glandular secretion that forms a stalk to which the spermatophore, which is the sperm containing structure, is attached to, in which he then maneuvers the female to that of her genital opening that makes contact with the spermatophore. Once she is positioned over the spermatophore, physically in contact, which causes the spermatozoa to be ejected into the genital opening, the gnopore of the female. Males that remain near the females after mating will sometimes 
get eaten. So with that, always remember to have a catch cup to cover your meal. And now you see the male is slowly guiding the female towards his spermatophore. And there will be a zoom in in a moment to see that there is a slight strand and bit of enzyme still stuck to the male's underside while he has deposited the spermatophore. As you can see right there, he is slowly just coaxing the female to go over over the spermatophore and where in which the process for the spermato spermatozoa to eject the contents in the spermatophore within the female so yeah A little bit of the secretion is still stuck on the male and as you can see he's trying to guide her that's the stalk right there and the spermatophore is right underneath the female so he just has to guide the female towards the opening of the stalk and everything should be hunky-dory from there Alright, we're coming to the end of the video. Unfortunately, I was not able to record the proper ending due to my camera's battery running out of juice. So yeah, unfortunate, but the pairing went very successfully, even though it took a lot of time. But it's a success and in my opinion, that that's all that matters. So. You guys know the drill, if you guys like the video, smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome to Invents Paradise. Do subscribe and hit the notification bell for more content that will be coming out soon. And to whoever out there has more scorpion keeping experience, do let me know down in the comments what are your ways of undergoing the breeding process. Is there anything different that I should apply into my breeding methods? or? You know, there's something wrong with my breeding methods that's causing probably this massive delay in terms of time. So without further ado, this is Inverse Paradise, out! <laughs>